हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग प्रॉब्लम वैलिड स्टैक सिक्वेंस ऑल दो इट्स अ प्रिटी 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 इजी प्रॉब्लम इफ यू हैव वॉस्ड आर द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ स्टैक विच यू हैव डेड इन द लास्ट टू थ्री लेक्चर्स देन इट वुड बी वेरी 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 इजी फॉर यू टू सॉल्व इट बट इन दिस वीडियो गो शो यू एज वी सॉ ओके टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ स्टैक वी कैन हैव मल्टीपल ऑप्शन वेक्टर्स डी क्यूज also like vector if it's of strings and we can also use strings so as we saw okay for stacks you can we like it's internally implemented as vectors maybe also you can use arrays and for array you need pointers to actually pop and push that's the same thing via which you can actually optimize this thing although you might have implemented it and it's pretty easy i'll highly recommend you implement that same thing with stack and whatever you know so far but in this video i'm going to show you the special trick so in this video we're going to see two main approaches to solve this problem but if you have watched our last last two videos then it would be very 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 easy for you to actually understand it or maybe attempt it by yourself also So yeah, before further ado, let's start with this problem. Uh, it states that okay, uh, we are having two integer arrays called as pushed and popped, each with distinct values. Please mark this word distinct values, which means the numbers in that are distinct. They are not repeating, right? Cool. If we have to return a true, if if This could have been the result of a sequence of a push and pop operation on an initially empty stack, or we can also say vice versa. If we apply some push and pop operation on these two stack, so it should become empty. So basically, push and pop operation. Push we are having, okay. Pop we are having. We have to apply these operation and make a stack empty. That is what our aim is. Cool. Uh, or false if it can't become empty. Let's see the first example because see, with the example itself we understand what we have to do. Now, my operation is okay. I have to push one. Then also parallelly I have to think okay. I also have to pop four. But I also know one thing okay. My values are distinct. So if I have to pop four, then I have as soon as the four comes, I have to pop it. Right now, I have to push one because see okay. Stack is empty right now. I have to push one. I will push one. But parallelly, I'm thinking I have to pop four. I have to pop four. I have to pop four because as soon as let's say four comes and let's say you entered another element, let's say five above it, then no matter what, you can't pop four because the four will never come again. It's the reason. Whenever the four will come, you have to pop. So you have to parallel think. Okay, whenever the four comes, I have to pop, pop, pop. Cool. No worries. But right now I have one. So I just pushed it in my stack. Because see, is this a push and a pop operation on a stack? So I just pushed one in my stack because four, no, 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 four not yet received. Two pushed because four, it's not four. Three pushed because it's not four. Four pushed. Okay, four pushed now. But but but. Pale, I was thinking okay, four. As soon as I found four, I have to pop it. Because I know the values are distinct, and the four would never, ever, ever come again after this. Thus, I just pop my four, and I'm good. Now the next element I have to think of to pop is five. Uh, can I see five? Mm -hmm. So cool, no worries. I just pushed my next element. Okay, now it's five. Oh, it's five. We have to pop five, right? Just pop five. No worries. I just push. my i just move my pointer j to next location because now i want to see for next because it is being popped it is being popped now next i have to think for 3 to being popped okay oh i can see my top is already a 3 i can just pop it down okay my 3 is popped i can see the next element to pop is 2 and i can also see okay my stack top is 2 i can pop it it's super 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 fine my stack top is of the same element i can just pop it down one i can just pop it down oh it becomes empty what we wanted was an empty string we can say okay we are good to go um let's see another example to actually verify okay what we saw was actually right or not same in this case 
I have to make sure parallel okay 444 uh, as soon as the four comes I have to pop it as soon as the four comes I have to, I have to pop it I just push one it's not four push two it's not four push three it's not four push four <sighs> push four as soon as I push four I just say okay hey four you have to pop it right just pop it down cool now the stack is three uh, and next element is three pop it for sure just pop it next element is five is it uh, at the top we had two right now so it's not we can't pop it so i'll just push the next element which is five in my stack okay cool but now the next element which, which need to be popped is five and also we had at top is as five so i just pop it down cool i had to pop a one at the top i have a two so okay so i can't pop it but can i push anything else also because right now I'm not sure okay what is in the stack inside but yeah let's analyze okay if we can have something oh we can't have something right my push has become empty N nothing will come forever I need to pop a one on my top it's two I can't pop it which means okay my operations are finished it's done but the stack has not become empty while we wanted the stack to become empty <sighs> So we have to return a false. That's the same thing. You, you just have to push your pushed array, your pushed array, your pushed array. You have to push these elements in your stack. And as soon as you find any element of the pop, you just have to keep popping. Because if you, if you don't pop now, swear you will never find that element again. So it's the best chance. Okay, just pop it as soon as you see it that's the same thing which you have to implement via stack because it is it's legit saying push pop of a stack same apply same just what it is saying we will just do the same thing exactly same thing i just use a stack to actually apply that push and pop operation the pointer to actually move on to that my pop diary because you know okay i was just saying okay it's for then I was just moving that my J, 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 J. So that's okay. I know. Okay. It is being popped. Now I have to pop this. Cool. No worries. Then I just moved on my pushed array elements. Okay. All the elements I need to push. Every time I'm just pushing the element. No worries. Also, I just check. Oh, is the stack top actually equal to the element which needs to be popped? If yes, then oh, no worries. Just pop it down. Just pop it down. So I'll just pop it down. And also, I just need to worry about the next pop element. So I just increment by J pointer. And for sure, whenever we are about to pop in a queue or get a front in a queue, sorry, a pop in a stack or get a front in a queue, we just firstly check, okay, if that is not empty. Because if it is empty and will, and still if we are pointing to this thing, then it will give us a null pointer exception and we don't want that. So every time, it's very standard that we just check, okay, if or why it is not empty then only we can actually uh, ask for the top element and ultimately i just said it needs to become empty to actually return a true if it becomes empty only then i can return a true and that's pretty much it time is o of n space is o of, uh, o of n and space is also o of n because we are just iterating on my whole push and pop diary and here we are using a stack so it's just o of n but as i said it, don't you think it's very 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 easy and very normal don't you think like i'm just asking if you just know basic stack isn't it very easy it is right it's the same reason i just ask you how can you optimize it you will just see okay what Aryan has told in the last video is that we that stack is internally implemented as a vector right okay cool uh, vector and vector and array are kind of same it's just that okay in a vector i can do you see it's a vector then i can push an element in a vector and pop an element from the end of the vector but in an array i can't i can push an element by just adding a element in the end of the array but i can't pop the element out of the array right it is not an operation because array is based on indexes right so if it is based on indexes okay when i say okay i have this particular array of infinite length let's say then i have to add an element so i just increment my pointer i then I just add my element here at this location. If I just want to pop it, why not increment my pointer i to actually, okay, now I will just say, 
ऑल दो द एलिमेंट इज राइट हेयर बट स्टिल आई से ओके नाउ माई पॉइंटर इज अप टिल हेयर ओनली एंड इफ इट इज माई हेरे If it is of infinite size, let's say infinite in sense, hundred, let's say, but our required let's say is ninety. Then one, two, three, four. Now let's say I want to add an element, so I will just add. I will increment my pointer and I will add a five. It is how an operation is performed on an array. Now, Aryan, why I am thinking of an array here? But you said that I need a vector and all that stuff. See, I said that we need to optimize this thing. I am not saying to do the same thing in another form. I am saying to optimize this. If I just use the vector again, then still the space will be open because still it will be exactly the same as stack. But if I use an array, I know okay, my pushed input is actually an array. Oh. What I can do is I can apply because I'm just iterating on those element, so I'm iterating from the start and going on. So it's kind of okay. I just need to think of it as an array I have been given. Now I just need to okay modify this and use this as a stack because I just want to optimize this thing. I can't optimize this because ultimately I have to go on to every of the pushed and the popped element because ultimately I have to at least grab the input from my eyes. But maybe I can just optimize this because it is using a stack, extra thing which I'm being using. So maybe I can optimize it. Maybe not saying sure. Maybe so yeah, it is the same thing we think. Okay, we are having an array. We wanted to add an element. We added this. But let's say I wanted to remove an element. You can't remove it at the mid location, right? So how about if I just remove my move my pointer back? Now I can just say okay, up till wherever my pointer is, that is my array. With this, I'm although it is placed at this location, but I'm not seeing it. I'm just saying, okay, I don't see it. I only see up till th this location. Via this, we can actually trick us and this thing to actually think, okay, it's actually an stack rather than a rather than a simple array. Let me show you how. That's the firstly main thing that okay we just analyzed and use pointers to actually move in my array to actually replicate the same stuff as stack, which means earlier what we were using in this particular thing if you saw we are using a stack push stack top stack pop the same thing I can just say as I said stack push stack is nothing but an array push is just pushing at a new index i plus plus. Top is nothing but i minus minus. Top is nothing but value at i. That's the same thing I did. Push, which means i plus plus. I just pushed and I just did a i plus plus. Now, pop or top element, which is nothing but i minus one. As as it's it was same as here also. As I was saying, okay, if I had some element because I was I'm pushing at i, and I'm doing i plus plus. So i has increased right now. That's the reason I'm just grabbing my i minus one because I pushed at i, not at i plus one. So and i has increased to i plus one. I pushed at i. I has increased to i plus one. So now my i is i plus one. So I just need to do a i plus one minus one to actually reach back to i, where actually is the pushed element. So it's the top. Okay, cool. I just modified the exactly same code, and here to pop is nothing but decreasing that i pointer. And it's just doing a pop. And for sure, we have that base condition. Okay, for sure, you have to just make sure that, as you as you made sure here also that your stack is having some size it's here. Your i should be more than zero because as soon as it goes less than zero, you are screwed. You can't access negative indexes. It's not Python. So that's pretty much it. Okay, Aryan, uh, you showed the code, but I couldn't get it that how actually it is happening. No worries. Let's see how it is happening. As I said, I just replicate the whole array because I am given this as an input. I have to use this input as a stack itself. And how we can use the stack by increasing or decreasing the pointers. But it is already filled, and we also took, and we also can't. Um, Change the next locations. I mean, I can just do a pop from the left or a push it from the right. I have to go my array from here only. So yeah, as soon as I obtain a one, and for sure, I'll just keep on checking. Okay, if it is four, 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 four. As soon as the four comes, I have to move my pointer back. Okay, 
वन कम्स माय आई पॉइंटर मूव्स नेक्स्ट वन इज प्लेस आई इज इनिशियली हेयर वन इज प्लेस एट दिस लोकेशन आई एंड देन आई हैज मूव टू आई प्लस वन एज आई शोड यू फॉर दी नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग थिंग आई प्लस वन एज आई शोड यू cool no worries then again a two came a two came i see what i'm doing is i'm iterating on my pushed array and the same pushed array is being replicated as a stack okay cool then two came uh, two i added at the location i and i is increased three came three added at the location i and three is uh, i pointer is increased four came four is added at the location i and i is increased wait a minute four is added at the location i i is increased I just check. Okay, post of i minus one right now is it equal to the post of j? Which means, as I show you the code, code i has increased. So i minus one is nothing but four. Post of that j is four. It is same. I need to pop it. How to pop it? Just move that i pointer back. Which means i pointer will move back. Which means actually now the array is up till here only. It is just popped. Okay, cool. It's popped. Now i pointer as I showed, it was at this location. Which means array is up to here. Now again, <clears throat> I was I was iterating on this particular push pushed. So my four was done. Next element upcoming would be five because see I was legit iterating on this particular array of push. It is being done parallelly. So now I just have this array uh, the element which is incoming which is five. I just placed it at my location and I increased my pointer. You saw what happened. My array. is changing and it is just reflecting the stack itself it is being done what is what it is but array it just got overridden by that four cool now i'll just say okay five i minus one it's also five just pop it which means in decrease the i pointer i pointer goes here i minus one three j three pop it which means decrease that i pointer i minus one two j two Pop it. Decrease the i pointer. I minus one one j one. Pop it. Decrease the i pointer. I zero j for sure has reached. Uh, I zero which means oh. I zero which means I have completed my all the operations. My it's completed. It's done. We have reached the end of the stack. The stack is empty. We are good. We are done. It's the reason we can return a true. You saw what happened. Time will for sure be off end because you have to trade on the whole push and pop array, but the space is just reduced to off end because now you are using no extra space, no extra stack. We are just modifying this particular input which is pushed. Although in the interview you will just have to mention to the interviewer, okay, it is not recommended in the production code to actually modify the input, but you have to tell to the interviewer that okay, you know a technique to actually optimize the space. I'm not seem to not tell it, but ultimately when you just speak the whole thing. Just in the end, let him or her know. Okay, it is not the production recommended thing that you actually modify the input itself because this input it can be the downstream for many other resources. If you just modify that stream, then it's not recommended because you are using this. But maybe some other controller, the other division or some other thing is also using it. So you you like it's recommended to not modify the upstream input, but. You have to tell the particular approach to in to to the interviewer, and that's how you just gather attention. All the codes of two pointer as well as the stack for both the languages, uh, all the languages, Java, C plus plus and Python is down below. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do the like button. It helps motivates a lot, a lot, a lot. Although I can't reply to all the comments, but I just put in the hearts to actually let you know I have read your comment. So yeah, it's all from me, and I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do the like button and share it to your friends. Goodbye. Take care.